Hello everyone, I'm Dong Chol. Today the topic is, is the open DKIM with the first fix or sentinel 64. In this video, there are the five chapters. The chapter one about the DKIM service, chapter two DKIM installation and startup, and the chapter three open DKIM configuration, and chapter four first fix configuration and the last chapter will be the open DKIM testing. Chapter 1, DKIM service. Number 1, what is uh, DKIM? DKIM means the domain keys identified mail. DKIM is a cryptography based protocol and this one normally sign the selected header field and the message body in the email service and the validate identifier and message data integrated using dns identifiers and the public keys in dns normally the dkim service intended to allow good senders to prove they, uh, they did send a particular message and the also prevent forgers from the masquerading as good senders. And the, normally the domain keys come from Yahoo and identify mail from Cisco. Okay, take a look at the, this picture. So this is a sending MTA. This is a recipient the MTA. The sending MTA send email with the private key signed from this one. So the sending MTA must have the private key and public key fails. If the recipient MTA that receive this email, normally this MTA try to the public key from the DNS service. So if this the private key and the public is a match, then normally this MTA recipient MTA will deliver this mail to user's mailbox. So first the MTA must have the must create the public key and the private pairs. And this uh, published the private key means that this is a private key must pub must be published to DNS service. Okay, then chapter two, the DKIM, the installation and startup requirement. First, first piece must be working well. So please check in using this command. And the send mail is a turn off. So says config send the mail off. Number two, package installation. So to use the open DKIM, normally I will install these three packages. The library open DKIM, library open DKIM development, and open DKIM. And to use the DKIM, the please check the user open DKIM from the ETS password, shadow, and group. Also, you have to check the directory and files. So normally open DKIM will create the default the configuration file here. It is C open DKIM and BLN open DKIM like this. So if you the check the complete to check the this kind of the packages and the users and the directory that you can start like this service open DKIM start. Chapter three open DKIM configuration first Generate keys. I already told you the open they can need two keys, private key and public key. So, e, so in my case, etc open DKIM keys here. I will create a directory char.com. So here, after moving this directory, then here I will create the key. So D mean the domain and the S selector. So default like this. And after that, we have to the change the ownership. ETC open DKIM keys chart.com for the open DKIM that open DKIM like this. And the default private name means the private key, so must have this kind of the permission. Now, but create a key tab file. So, if you we are the complete to create the private and public key, then this key tab file will have the information about especially the private key. So, so here, in my case, the domain will be child.com default, and uh, this one is uh, the selector. Normally, we call it the selector. 
So, and the, in this directory, the default dot private, this is a private for this, the domain. And after the signing table, so, the, if you open this by signing table here, we will create like this. So, the users to, in, to be included to this domain, and the here, mean the all users will be the sign. And the number four, create a trusted host. So, it is often they can trust the host. So here we have to write down exact host name or this is IP address. This is the host name. This is domain name. This is uh, the network address with the CID. So this kind of domain will be the, the trusted host to this uh, the DKIM. Number five, and after that, I already told you TLS must have the information about the public information. So, if you read this one, tar.com, so default txt, this one has the information of the public key from the private key. So, this information will be added here. So, in my case, the domain name, the tar, John. And of that, the main configuration by this will open DKIM conf. So here we have to configure some the line. For example, the kernel characterizations, the relaxed, relaxed, or this one has two kind options, relaxed or the simple. I will use the relaxed. So kernel uh, characterization, this one means normally the MTA sometimes the modify email in trend. So maybe if the MTA the, the modify some email, then the normally this kind of things can the invalidate the DKM signature. So using this option, the open DKIM will validate this kind of email as well. And the selectors here, in my case, I will select the default so this one normally allow a domain to have more than on public in dns it means the in my case i will use domain the chart.com so and the selector will be different but the, if i want to create more the public key for this domain then in this case the i can add more selector like this and the key the file here and the mode, mode has two kinds, S and V. S means the sign and the V means the verify. And the signing table here, signing table. And the socket, normally open DKIM will use the port number this one, 8891. And the user will be open DKIM. And the external, the ignore and the internal host will be saved in this file. First fix configuration, so just in the first fix, the main.cf, just add this three line. SMT filters, the, this one, the socket address, this one as well, and the filter default action will be the accept. And after that, open DKM start, first fix main server restart, and the name server as well restarted. And if you want to register this service to the level, then you can use, and after that, you have to check the process and port number using this command. DKIM and port number. And the testing, so you may just test like this. So sender will be tlanchal.com. This one will use the evolution. And the list peer will be linuxchal.com. This one will use the Thunderbird. So if the sender send the email to this list peer, then we in the in this mail we can check the signing and verify for this email. And uh, if you want to check the log, so here like this, then if you are the DKIM service success, then you can see this kind of field. DKIM signature field add and the selector default and domain like this. If you want to test your open DKIM service using the external email address, then please send your email to this email address if you are using the, your the public IP address with your mail server. Okay, then the let's uh, start here. Okay, first, in my case, let's check the first post fix. So now it's working, and after that, send mail must be stopped. Grab send mail. Okay, now send mail is down. And the second, let's test, well, check the packages okay like this 
rpm kqa grab Okay, now in my case, I have the, this kind of three the packages, the library OpenDKIM, OpenDKIM, and the library OpenDKIM development like this. And after that, please check the user etc password, etc shadow, and etc group. So now the password OpenDKIM, UID 479, and the shadow as well, and the group. So now open the KM and this one it belong to the group the mail as well. Okay, then the one more thing let's check the directory. Okay, so now it is see open the game we can find this kind of directory and files and the bar run. So also normally the open DKI the save the process ID in this directory. Okay, and after that the service. And uh, if you want, uh, okay, open DKIM on, and after that. So now, number 2, 3, 4, 5 is activated. Okay, and after that, the service often DKIM start. Or restart. Okay, then let's go to DKIM. Okay, now let's start the configuration. First one, let's go to the keys. So in my case, I already created this domain char.com. And after that, so here, C H U S. So let's here, now I'm staying here. So let's, uh, in this thing, let's uh, create our the private and public key. Open DKIM gen key. So in my case, the domain will be the char.com and the selector will be default. So now you can see this to the file and after that, let's check the ownership, CHOWN, in my case, uh, open. DKIM IM both. Okay, so now the default private, default the text. So and let's try to read first the private key. So private key has this kind of the keys. So using the RSA and default text. So this is a uh, kind of the public key from this the private key. Okay, now I have the I create this public key and the private key and uh, okay. And let's see first the kit file. So in the kit file, default domain key is a uh, child in my case and the domain name child.com and the uh, selector will be the default and open the game keys child.com and the private key name default private like this and, and the signing table okay let's open signing table okay the last line so here in my case the line number 25 so the star at child.com default domain key will be child.com so the all users who use this domain can be the signed and verified by this mta okay and after that the signing table and after that let trusted host. So in my case, the local host, server's host name, and the main server, and my the trusted host name. If especially the my the IP address belong to this network address. Okay, then 
let's try to add the uh, public key to the DNS the JOM file in my case okay so in my case okay let's check named so in my case I'm using this one char John so now here default uh, at first at first we are named Charles John only has this kind of information like uh, name server and the web server and mail server FTP like this. So here default text and after that, then the add var name chul John. Okay, let's add read var name and chart. So now this uh, public key added to this JOM file like this. Okay, and uh, the main configuration file etc dkim.conf. Okay, let's go to the first line. Okay, line number the 15. Normally, the often dkim will save the PID, the process ID to this directory. And the mode here, you can use this S or B, but uh, in my case, I will use both the sign and verify together. And the log or let yes, and the syslog success yes, and the log y yes, and the line number 34, user ID like this, and the socket address 8891, and the U mask. And the current utilization and the relaxed, the relaxed, and the selector, the default will be. And the key file here, etc. Open the KM keys child.com default private. This is a private key. And the key tab file, open the KM key tab. And the signing table, so here, etc. Open the KM signing table. And the external ignore list and the internal host. So the same file, trusted host and trust the host like this. Okay, now we are ready to use the DKIM. And one more thing, the first fix main.cf. So in my case, uh, line number 723 SMTP filters. The socket address, socket address, and the different direction will be accept like this. Okay, then now uh, we are ready to use uh, three kinds of servers. First, service mail server, first fix restart. Okay, and the service name server restart. And the open DKM as well, open DKIM restart. Okay, let's check the main, uh, the log file first. Log messages. So now in the name server, there is uh, the John about the char .com, in my case John .com, com like this. And so now now main log. So in the main log, we can find this kind of messages. So open DKIM. So it's uh, now. The process started like this. Okay, then the, let's check the process here first. DKIM. So we can find that this one is reading this uh, configuration file and process it like this. And after that, uh, let's check port number 8891. So now this uh, port number already the open. Okay, then the let's test. First one, in my case, uh, in the server part, the user, this one will be the, okay, this one. Okay, this is, this user is a TLAND, so let's send the email to the Linux. Okay, the recipient will be Linux char.com and the subject DK I am testing this mail is uh, testing uh, DK I am 
okay send and the client this is a linux okay this one also let's send to the tlan tlan okay char and dkm testing okay sorry this mail is a testing dkim service okay send Okay, first check the Linux. This is a Lispian. And before testing here, let's check the, our the mail logo file. So first, if we are successful to use OpenDKIM, then in the logo file, especially the mail log, so in my case here, OpenDKIM, DKIM signature field added to the signature and the selector is a default and the domain chart.com like this. So here we found that this, the, the open the game is working well. And let's check the, in the mail. So in my case now, this user is uh, Linux. And uh, now receive this email from the, the TLAND. So this mail is a testing DK. Okay, here, if you the check other actions, so view source. So let's check here. Okay, so now we can find the DKIM, the signature is a button number and the algorithm canonization and the domain and the selector like this. So here we can find this kind of the public key as well. This one also. Okay, say so using this one we already either checked now the this mail server using DKIM service as well. Okay, now this is uh, the TLAND, so let's check, send and receive, so now receive this one. Okay, here, if you want to see this kind of information in the evolution, you have to check the view, so here, all message headers, then you can see this kind of header file, header messages. So, here, let's check. DKIM signature button, algorithm, calendarization, and the domain, and the selector like this, and the public key as well. So here, this is a sorry. So now the if you you if you the used open DKIM service, then all email will be signed and verified using the private key and public key. Okay, so far I explained uh, how to use the Open DKM service with PostFix on CentOS 6.4. Thank you for watching this video and God bless you.